Good morning, reception. It's time for our literacy lesson and we're going to carry on our story map that we started yesterday. Who can remember what our story is called? The three little pigs. That's right. So let's start right from the beginning, all the way up here. And we will get to here and then we'll think about what happens next. OK, ready? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, Mummy Pig said, it's time for you to find your own house. So the first pig built his house out of straw. The second pig built his house out of sticks. The third pig built his house out of bricks. Suddenly, the big bad wolf said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. The first pig said, Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. So the big bad wolf huffed, puffed and blew the house down. Suddenly the wolf knocked on the door. What did he say? He said, little pig, little pig, let me in. The second pig said, no, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. So, the big bad wolf huffed, puffed and blew the house down. Great joining in everybody. OK, so what happened next in our story? The wolf has blown down the first little piggy's house. The second little piggy's house. Goodness me, so what happened next? Amazing, you're right, he did. He went to the third little piggy's house. Did he go slowly? No. What's that word that we use here? Suddenly, amazing, well done. So we're going to draw our hands to remind us to use that word. And it means it happened quickly and by surprise, doesn't it? Suddenly, who are we talking about? Which character? The wolf. Amazing. Well done for remembering that. The wolf. How do we write the sound, the word wolf? What sounds can we hear? What? Uh, oh. Suddenly, the wolf, what did he do? He said, little pig, little pig, let me in. So let's write the word let. How many sounds can you hear in the word let? L-et. Three sounds. First sound, oh. L-e-t. Me, red word, reading my red pen. Me, let me in. In. What happened next? Suddenly, the wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me in. What happened next? What did the third piggy say? Third is number three, so we need to draw a number three. What did he say? You're absolutely right, he did. He said, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Good job. OK, let's write the word pig. How many sounds can you hear in the word pig? Let's say it together slowly. Pig. P I G. Three sounds. Squeeze them on. P I G. First sound. P 
Next sound, I. P, I, G. Suddenly, the wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me in. The third pig said, what did he say? Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, that's right. And that means no, doesn't it? So we're going to write no in our red pen because it's a red word. No, and an ah makes the sound no. <gasps> so what happened next? Amazing remembering, you're right. We do, we use the word so, and that's a red word, so we're going to use our red pen. So, which character are we talking about? The wolf, amazing. What did the wolf do next? He huffed and he puffed. Which house does the third piggy live in? Which house does the third piggy live in? What's it made out of? It's made out of bricks, you're right. Do you think the wolves huffing and puffing is going to blow it down? No. So, he huffed and he puffed. Let's write those words. Huff, huff. How many sounds can you hear? Uh, three sounds. Squeeze them on. Uh, first sound. Next sound. Uh. Last sound. Special friends. Huff. Let's do it with puff now. My turn. Puff. Your turn. How many sounds can you hear? Puff. P. Uh. Three sounds. First sound. P. Oh. Special friends. So, the big bad wolf huffed, puffed. Can you remember what, we, what word we use when we do this action? And super. So we go ah, and mm, what happened? The house didn't blow down. So the house didn't blow down. That's our arrow to point down. So what action do you think we could do to say that the house didn't blow down? Great job, we could go like this, couldn't we? We didn't blow down. Okay, amazing, well done. What sound does down start with? Down, d, well done. Do you think we can write the whole word? I think we can. D, ow, n, d, ow. <gasps> Special friends, ow. Mm, down. Let's go from here. So, the wolf huffed, puffed, and the house didn't blow down. Why didn't it blow down? Because it was made of bricks. It was too strong, wasn't it? The house was too strong to be blown down you have a go i know my house is made of bricks and i'm sure lots of your houses are made of bricks too if you want you can go outside and have a go at huffing and puffing as hard as you can and see if your house falls down do you think it will no huffing and puffing can't blow a brick house down can it dearie me okay so what happened next? What did the wolf do 
when he couldn't blow the brick house down. So let's start our sentence with so and red word. So. The wolf. What sound does wolf start with? Well done. Big sharp T. I imagine he's getting quite cross now because he's tried to have three little piggies and he hasn't been able to have any of them. So, what did he do? So, the big bad wolf, he did. He climbed onto the roof of the third piggy's house, didn't he? So, when you climb, you do this. So, that's the action I'm going to do. But if you have a better idea, you do that. And I'm going to draw a ladder to remind us that he climbed onto oh can you remember the action for on on where did he climb onto the roof that's right so let's draw our house and draw an arrow to the top of our roof and i've written the word on 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 okay So, the big bad wolf climbed on to the third piggy's roof. <gasps> what? Where did he go next? Where did he go next? What's on our roof that leads into our houses sometimes? A chimney, that's right. Just like what Santa comes down. So, let's draw a chimney. No, not yet. So, he went onto the roof and, and he went. So let's change this to the ah. And. And. Hmm. If the chimney's on the roof and the wolf wants to be in the house, which way do you think he needs to climb the chimney? Does he need to go up or does he need to go down? Amazing, you're right, he does. He needs to go down the chimney. So let's draw our down arrow again. And we're going to write the word down with our special friend line of our diagraph. And down the chimney. Now I wonder if you can come up with an action for chimney while I quickly draw one. Have you come up with an action for chimney? amazing you do the one that you came up with i'm going to do this but that's just because i can't see your wonderful ideas i'm really looking forward to when we're back at school next week and you can show me chimney what sound does chimney start with chimney it does it starts with a ch 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 our special friends ch for chimney and down the chimney. Can you remember what word we use when we do that? But, amazing, well done. We do, we say but, and that means something's gone wrong. But, let's try and write the word but. How many sounds can you hear? But, 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 three sounds. First sound, but. happened next amazing well then the wolf fell into a pot of hot water that was on the fire at the bottom of the chimney wasn't it oh dear so we need to draw the wolf And 
the wolf fell. Hmm, how many sounds can you hear in the word fell? F fell. 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 Three sounds. First sound. Well done. Ooh, this is special friends. We need two alls. But the wolf fell. What action can we do for fell? The wolf fell. We could go like that, couldn't we? Pretend like we're falling. He fell into, into. Can you remember the action for in? Into a pot. So let's draw our pot. What sounds can you hear in the word pot? P -ot. Good job. Three sounds. P -ot. Into a pot of hot water. That's a full stop there. So we need an action. We've got. Let's go from here, shall we? Because we haven't really done it. So the wolf climbed on to the roof. And down the chimney. But the wolf fell into a pot. So we need an action for pot. What action can we do for pot? Amazing. You do your ones. I'm going to do this. But it's only because I can't see your amazing ideas. Okay. So I'm going to do this because I'm going to pretend to be a pot. Okay. But the wolf fell into a pot of hot water. Oh, that rhymes, doesn't it? Pot hot. Okay. And then what happened? What happens at the end of all our fairy tales? Yeah, you're absolutely right. They lived happily ever after. So I'm going to write the in my red pen. Why am I writing the in my red pen? Because it's a red word, absolutely. The 12 little piggies. No? How many piggies were there? Three. The three pigs. So let's draw the pigs. Hmm. How many? What, what sounds can you hear in the word pigs? P Pigs. Four sounds. The three pigs lived happily ever after. The end. Super duper. Well done, everybody. That was a super effort at getting our story map done in only two days. So you have done amazingly. Do you think we can read it all the way from the beginning right to the end? I bet you can. Stand up. Give yourself a shake. And again. Amazing. Are you ready? Come on, we can do this. Okay. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, Mummy Pig said, it's time for you to find your own house. So the first little pig built his house out of straw. The second little pig built his house out of sticks. The third little pig built his house out of bricks. Suddenly, the big bad wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me in. The first little pig said, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So, the big bad wolf huffed, puffed and blew the house down. Suddenly, the big bad wolf said, 
Little pig, little pig, let me in." The second little pig said, "No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin." So the big bad wolf huffed, puffed, and blew the house down. Suddenly the big bad wolf said, "Little pig, little pig, let me in." The third little pig said, "No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin." So the big bad wolf huffed, puffed, and the house didn't blow down. So the wolf climbed on to the roof and down the chimney but the wolf fell into a pot of hot water the three little pigs lived happily ever after the end oh my goodness reception you are superstars well done and i will take a picture of this so you can see it a bit more clearly and practice it at home but don't worry when we don't need to write our story map out this week because we're going to do some more thinking about our story tomorrow okay i'll see you really soon well done for keeping up the good work bye